the end of the day, laid a lot of brick today. Thought I'd give a little demonstration of how we do it, okay? This little simple brick laying one on top of two. Got a little bit of mud left. Think about spreading mud to get it equally over the brick. It's kind of hard to do, get it with just single trialing it like that, but old Yankee man showed me one time. That's all it took. I always like to pull the mud to the front, keep it on, the less mud on the back, the better. Furl that mud like that. Simple furrow, shaking that trial going down through there. This equals out the mud over the whole brick. You can get you a little head joint right there. No, not the kind you smoke. Get that excess right there. Then, start with the whole brick. Some of these brick are new, some of them are used. We cleaned them. Something ain't right here. Didn't move his line. I need to raise my line. <laughs> Looks like. Thought I raised it. Yeah. Okay, here we go. It's getting dark. I hope you can see. You know, guys like Tony, who now works in a game room, and I don't know what Tony Marino does, but those guys are retired from bricklaying. They're faster than lightning. Me, I'm kind of like the, the tortoise in the hare. Uh, not as fast as I once was, but I'm as fast as I am now, or something like that. How's that song go? Anyway. I'm not as drunk now as I ever was, but I ever was drunk. I'm not drunk, don't <laughs> right? Anyway, as you can tell, I'm throwing that first head joint, which is this one right here, and you come over the top, that's a head joint. It's supposed to be a full head joint in there. Makes for a good solid wall. And the whole time I'm laying these, I'm just pushing them down. I can pretty much do this blindfolded. But I'm watching the joints, keeping them straight. Uh, I think my cameraman's been drinking. But I'm letting <laughs> the trial, trial rub along the face of the brick. And if I hit, feel it, a little bump in it, that means it's a little bit of a crooked brick. But we're looking, this is the one I've been looking for all day right here. The last one. The last one. Then, Go to the next one. Thanks for watching. Now let's go home and join the Walmart. Boom. Now, we've been laying brick, right? Now, after you get through laying the brick, it ain't done yet, it ain't done yet okay? We still got a mess to clean up, and we're gonna uh, joint the wall. Again, no, you don't smoke it, okay? Here we go. Head joints. I like to hold my <coughs> finger up here, right there, keep from knocking that mud out right there. I think Mike's already got most of the wall, looks like. Oh, here we're coming into some head joints and bed joints below. Anyway, see, I'm just scratching that mud out of there. Gets back about, I don't know, quarter inch. Really, we should be going rake joint, but I don't believe in rake joint anymore. It's not as sufficient at waterproofing as just an old concave joint, if you know what I mean. Okay, now, we've got the head joint. We're getting the bed joint. So just let that stick. This is a professional tool right here. You can find them laying around any job site. I'm kind of raking that back a little bit so it'll match the existing. But not too far, not as far back as they went. This house was probably built shoot, 40 years ago or something like that. And rake right jointing, it's just, I just don't believe in it, man. For one, it takes too damn long. And uh, it's not sufficient waterproof. It doesn't make for a good solid wall when you take half, about half inch of that mud, mud out of the front of it. Hope you can see this. Hope it's not too dark. You're good. But uh, see, I'm getting all that mud out of there. Woo, son. Hey, exercise, boy, you get some. Y'all want some exercise? You may want some exercise? Come on out here and work with me for a little bit. We yeah. will get you some exercise. Um, well, I, get, well, I can't see very good. If you see any crooked ones, that's probably where Mike laid them. <laughs> uh, Mike being the one holding the camera. Did anyway, you see laying a whole lot of brick? Anyway, I'm raking this out. Boy, if you don't, if you let that stuff get hard, it is a pain in the butt to get out. Now, when you get to the end, right here, don't go raking it out like a, raking it out like that. You're gonna knock the corner out. You gotta come back in. And that makes for a good, pretty corner. Don't forget the inside window. Well, right, we get around here where you can see me. Now, inside corner, this is simple. Don't come pulling it out either. You're gonna push it in. 
just let the, the, the stick right along in the stick. Now they make a special tool for this, it's called a joiner. But you know what, when you got to kind of fake a, a rake joint, a stick works great. Now, important part, you can lay them crooked, make the wall look like crap, but if you clean it up good, chances are you can sell the wall and everybody will love it. Old brush, right? I'm gonna brush it. I'm just brushing the excess mortar off, and as I'm brushing, I'm making sure I didn't miss any places. I'm making sure there's no voids or bee holes, as bricklayers call them. Uh, now, if you look at how this wall stepped up, it, uh, it's a challenge to get all these joints to line up, look all equal the same, you know, the size of the bed joints. Um, you know what? I like land brick. It just cuts into the fishing time. I was going to stream this live, but I didn't have Facebook downloaded on my new phone. So it is what it is. We've got to brush the whole wall. Then, Hang on a minute, I'm gonna show you something else. Kill it, Mike. Live on Facebook? No. Live oh. on camera. <clears throat> Alright, here we go again. I'm still brushing. Just making sure I get it off. It's a lot easier to brush it today than it is tomorrow. I promise you. Now, you think we're done? Don't even think about getting in the truck yet. Let me get my trial. Shit, yeah, I would be if I didn't have the damn phone in my hand. Here's my <laughs> trial up here. When uh you get this wall. When you get this wall built, condensation moisture can build up behind the wall. And we know this is a moisture barrier, it's called Tyvek. But we still gotta have a little bit of air get behind. Here's what we do. About every three, every two foot, which is three brick, one, two, three, we cut weed poles. It's too dark down there, go to the other side. All right, one, two, three. We're just cutting them, that go to the other side border again. out of that joint. And what that does, it allows bugs in for one. One, two, three, and it, but it allows a little bit of air to get in there. Whoop, that don't get one. You ain't doing, jumping way down here. You ain't doing no good. Anyway, any of y'all out there think you want to be a bricklayer? Give me a call, we'll let you come out and try it out for about a couple weeks and see if you like it. And uh, then we'll think about putting you on the payroll. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more solder. And that's uh, all. We know how to lay them. We'll see you. That's the women, that is. What?